It was a somber day for many in Toronto's Jewish community, remembering a painful time in history. It was on this day 79 years ago, Auschwitz Birkenau, a major concentration camp was liberated from the Nazis. Holocaust Memorial Day is an opportunity to talk about how is our, how should our society be structured so that we protect our most vulnerable. Anna Sternschuss is a director of the Anne Tenenbaum Center for Jewish Studies at the University of Toronto. She says with a rise in anti-Semitism over the last few months, lessons and conversations around the Holocaust are critical. There are meaningful ways to teach things about being a minority. And I think we have to keep thinking about meaningful ways to talk about history of the Holocaust. About 6 million Jews were killed by the Nazis during the Holocaust. The annual commemoration is observed around the world, meant as a time to reflect so that similar horrors do not happen again. There's been so much work done documenting, videotaping his stories of survivors who talk about what happened to them in so many languages in so many different ways. And I think once we start listening to these stories a little bit more attentively and think about uh, their lives uh, uh, and how that trauma impacted them, their children, their grandchildren, and the rest of the society, I think it will be very hard to ignore that historical event. The Toronto police have reported a drastic increase in hate-motivated incidents committed against the Jewish community. In their latest update, Police Chief Myron Demkew said anti-Semitism made up about 37% of all hate crimes reported in 2023. 132 anti-Semitic hate crimes were reported last year, compared to 65 in 2022. The perception that Jewish people, no matter where they live, are somehow responsible for whatever is happening in Israel, this is a very uh, powerful and uh, hurtful trope that informs a lot of discussions today. Premier Doug Ford posted a video on social media to mark the day. Today and every day, we honor the memories of the six million Jews who were killed in the Holocaust. The Premier saying that Ontario will continue to stand up against anti-Semitism. In Toronto, the CN Tower will also be lit yellow in commemoration of International Holocaust Remembrance Day. And tomorrow, there will also be an event happening at the Holocaust Museum in the afternoon. Melissa Nakavali, City News.